Welcome everybody to my tutorial for the Titan 2 and the Apex for Fortnite Battle Royale for one button building, similar to PC. I know a lot of players have um, made their own little macros with their onboard memory mice and uh, you know they've done some really good work there. Um, however, it wasn't as efficient as I would have liked it to be coming from PC, playing this particular game on PC since September of last year, and then you know switching over to console and then you know trying out these macros and they just didn't work out the way I'd like them to be, mostly because of muscle memory. So I know a lot of players, um, I've seen a lot of videos of people playing, you know, Fortnite with the Apex and they're really fast builders without the script and that's perfectly fine. This is for people like me who are a little bit older. I've been, I'm in my 30s, been gaming for a long time and it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. So I already have the muscle memory from what I'm used to with PC. And uh, so this works for me. This may not work for everybody. So that's just a little bit of a disclaimer there. Um, I hope that this does work for some of you. I do get a lot of requests uh, via this forum as well as on YouTube and even people have found me on Twitter asking, you know, hey, how, how did you set this up and all that fun stuff. It's been a long road since I've had my Titan 2 and the Apex trying to get this all figured out. However, there's been a particularly one super helpful member on the Titan 2 forums, um, Mark. He's also on this forum, I believe, as well. He's the guy who created the script that I use. Um, I cannot take any credit for anything that he has done. This is all his work. It's just, you know, it's what I use, and I'm really glad that I found his his scripts, and it works for me, and I have it, I have it set up the same exact way that I would run it on PC. So hopefully this helps you guys. First things first, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure you have both your your Apex and your Titan 2 updated to the latest firmware as of today, which is Friday, March 16th, 2018. Latest version of the beta firmware is the Beta EX1, Experimental 1, I'm assuming is what that's for. If you want to figure out how to get here, I do apologize. Um, that's my phone went off. Sorry for that. So yeah, if you do want to figure out how to get to the latest firmware updates, especially for the beta, you just go to uh, zim.tech forward slash beta, and you get to this lovely page right here, and it's just a forum page. And uh, yeah, you got the latest beta release right up here on top. Just click on it, scroll down a bit, it explains what everything does here. Um, to be honest with you, I still don't understand what the hell boost is. Or frame rate sync, I'm, I'm a noob when it comes to this, but that's fine. So you're just gonna go all the way down, you're gonna click on the flash tool here, you're gonna download it, I've already done it. So uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and click on that again. If you need um, instructions on how to flash this thing, you know, just you know, take out your Apex from your console, hold the button as you plug it into your computer, wait for the lights to come on, let go of the button, have the flash tool open and hit flash firmware and um, it'll flash the firmware for you automatically. You don't gotta do anything after that. Awesome. Moving on to the Titan 2. All right guys, sorry about that. I had to restart this whole section over because for some reason my OBS when capturing the window of this did not do it justice as far as showing drop down menus. Anyways, first thing you wanna do when you open up your G-Tuner and you have your Titan 2 connected and you can tell it's connected over here. You can just see your memory slots, all that fun stuff. Um, you know, wanna come up to tools up top here. Go check for updates. I'm currently on the latest update. There was one today. Um, there was one yesterday and one today. The update yesterday allowed for 1000 hertz polling rate to be able to communicate with the Apex, which is fantastic. So that's what everyone should be updating to. It's always best to just be on the latest firmware anyway. It's always going to have the best options, the best features, and uh, probably the best performance. So yeah, go ahead and make sure everything is up to date in both your G-Tuner software and your latest firmware additions. Great. Now you're going to want to come all the way down over here to where it says device configuration. Now under output control here, or output uh, protocol, I apologize, um, most of the time it's going to be set to USB automatic or it'll be set to your particular console. What you're going to want to do is set it to USB multi-interface HID, which is short for human interface device. Go ahead and select that. And then you're going to want to come down here, your mouse DPI, just set that to whatever you have your mouse DPI set to. That's just what I did. You're also going to want to check this box here. It says disable joystick from multi-interface hit output. Go ahead and check that. Now let's go ahead and get onto the script. This is the script here. Um, I did not create the script. The script was created by Mark, um, and he posted it on the Titan 2 forums for Fortnite. One button building here. His original script actually had it set to where it did everything that I wanted to, wanted it to do because it did. Um, you know, you could do one one button press for get into any weapon slot that you wanted to. However, I could never get that to work right with my G13. I had to do a lot of custom coding. Neither here nor there. He made the building only version of the script. Um, it's it's working pretty good. Now the key parts here that you want to pay attention to are are in the defines. If, if you're familiar with any C-based language, this should be pretty simple to just run through here. So for walls, we're gonna have this set to keyboard key B, floor keyboard key N, stair keyboard key J, and then down here you got your right bumper or R1 as your mouse will, and build for is gonna, is gonna be mapped to the end key and fire is mouse button one, obviously. So in its most basic form, I would just leave this as it is for now, just so you can get it up and running. That's what I did. However, I didn't manage to leave it this way in the long run because it is the most efficient way that I'm able to actually run this thing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. Moving on. So a lot of people have asked me how to save a script within the uh, GTuner software. It's, it's pretty simple. You come up here to this button here. It's going to create a uh, you know a GPC script. You, you choose a directory. Choose a file name. Uh, we'll just do like test zero one. It opens up a new file. It's, it has a couple things pre. Uh, pre-populated here. What you do is you like copy the scripts come in here and you paste it and you save it. And boom, you have yourself a GPC script. Awesome. 
We're not going to save that. Next step would be the input translator. Now, to do an input translator, it's pretty similar. You go to File, New, Input Translator. It's going to ask you the same things, you know, what directory, name to give it. Awesome. You're going to do all that, and you're going to copy everything as it is here, okay? You're going to go to your keyboard mappings, create new map to, cre to create these two keyboard mappings. Same for, same for the mouse, all that fun stuff. Next step you want to do is um, just go ahead and compile it and make sure it comes back with no warnings down here. So you hit this up here to compile. And then from there, you're going to want to click this little button here, which allows you to install the active work to memory slot. Just put it on your memory slot one. Awesome. And it'll throw it up over here. Well, let's go ahead and demonstrate it, okay? We're going to clear the, mem the memory slot. Now I have all empty memory slots. Come up here. We're going to throw this onto memory slot one. Boom. We see that the script is there. Memory slot one. Then you're going to want to do the same with the input translator. We're going to come over here, and you're going to throw it onto memory slot one with your script. And it'll look like this once that is done. And that is it as far as, as far as configuring your Titan 2. Awesome. Moving on. Okay, hey, perfect. So now we have the G502 plugged in. We have the Logitech Gaming Software open. This is the profile that I currently use for these particular services. So obviously these these mappings will be different for you, however you want them to be. Um, I have this button here set for walls, this one here for stairs, this one here for floor, as you tell from the key mappings that were in the script. Um, I have this one here for, for circle, just in case, you know, whatever. This is my end button here. And this is the one thing that is different from my transition from over from PC to console play. On, on PC, for example, if I build a wall, let's say, let's say I build a little one by one with walls and build a stair, if I want to get back to a weapon, I just hit one of my buttons to get back to a weapon and it's perfectly fine. Obviously on console, you can't do that, so you gotta hit the end key first, and everyone is aware of that. Um, it's taken me some getting used to, however, it's uh, it's slowly coming to fruition for me. But yes, I do play on 12,000 DPI. Um, my max pulling rate is, or my mouse pulling rate is currently at 1,000, as you can see here. These are my settings for this fun stuff. Okay, so. We are now in the Apex Manager. As you can see, I have Fortnite Battle Royale set up for the PlayStation 4. Let's go ahead and get into the settings here. Um, I'm not used to doing this on PC. I normally do this through my phone. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. As you can see, my global settings, I have it set to 1000 hertz response time for the polling rate. Fun times. Awesome. Going into the settings. All right, let's go to the next page. So here are some of my settings. I know a lot of you have asked. This is what I have currently dialed in and what works great for me at the moment. So for my hip, I have it at 68.5. Um, I use seven for smoothing and my boost at three. Um, this is based on antithesis recommendations. I'm not sure if the boost actually helps for hip. Um, I didn't really feel a difference between 0 and 3 for the hip fire. However, um, as we get to the ADS, it was definitely needed for ADS. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go down, um, get to some of the important stuff here. Oh my gosh, what is it? I guess I can't use the scroll over that. Okie dokie. All right. Going down to movement. As you can see, it's just all basic stuff here. I use a Logitech G13 as my keypad. Um, always have. I have really small fingers, um, small hands, and WASD for games like Fortnite, where, like on PC, where you have to stretch your fingers out to reach, you know, some of the F keys for for weapon swaps and stuff like that it just it just wasn't happening for me so i bought a g13 last august been using it only for fortnite other video games that i play on pc i use a regular keyboard but for fortnite i was kind of forced to to do this because of the small nature of my hands anyways moving on um these are just my basic keybinds that i use here but what's important is when we go to we have to hit the little button there obviously you have to have expert mode uh configured for this we want to get to our secondary here and you need to set these particular these particular keybinds to work with the script. So for your R1, you want to do your mouse scroll down, L1, mouse scroll up. Circle is the key end, like we were discussing earlier. Uh, let me see this. And right on the D-pad is key L. That's to help you reset the script back to normal. Awesome. So moving on from here, we're gonna go ahead and go to ADS. ADS I currently have set at 27. I have a smoothing of seven and boost of three. Now before I didn't have any smoothing or any boost on on ADS before I switched to a thousand hertz polling rate. I was at 500 hertz polling rate and I believe my ADS was set to 11. No smoothing, no boost, and it was perfect. However, when I bumped it up to a thousand, for one, it was too slow. So I bumped it to 27 and it feels pretty natural now. However, when I would actually aim down sights, it was super choppy. I don't know, I'm sure some of you have experienced this, maybe not, but it was super choppy. It felt like there was just some crazy like frame rate lag, even though there wasn't, it was, it was just all part of this. So um, Antithesis made a post on, on someone else's thread about the boost, so I just put it at three uh, based on his recommendation. It fixed the problem. Um, however, it still seemed every time I would try to shoot somebody, the hitbox was just a little out of whack, so I put the smoothing up, and I started at four, moved it up to seven. It feels just about right right now. It, it, the, base, the way I had it set up in its current configuration feels the same way it does to me on PC with the added addition of aim assist, which is obviously fantastic. I don't have anything else set up here. Okay, awesome. So yeah, so those are my settings that I currently use. Um, like I said, this is all if you want to use these mouse buttons for building. Obviously, you can use these buttons on a regular keyboard or, or a keypad if you don't want your, your building buttons to be on your mouse. It, it all depends on you. This is just my particular setup. Um, I do want to thank Mark 
the guy who created the script for helping me so much with getting it working. I know I, I probably caused him some headaches and some frustrations trying to figure out why it wasn't working on my end. Now, as far as plugging everything in, I, I get that question quite a bit. So basically how I run this and Based on what Antithesis has said, is you would basically run everything into your Apex and your Apex into your Titan 2 and Titan 2 into the console. I run it a little bit differently. Um, it has the same effect. It's, it's, it's no different. Basically, I run my mouse, my Logitech G502, into the Titan 2, into input A, and then I run the Titan 2 into the Apex Hub, into port 2 of the Apex Hub, and I run the controller and the G13 into the Apex Hub as well, and then the Apex Hub into the Apex, Apex into the console. And that's what works for me. Like I said, this would be different for, for you. It could be different for everyone else. It, it doesn't matter. These are just what works for me. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and get into some gameplay, and um, we'll try to describe exactly what is happening and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, see you guys here in a few seconds. All right, guys, let's get started here with some gameplay. Created a new account just for videos like this. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, we're going to go over to uh, profile here. Zero solo wins, zero matches played, same with duos. Same with squads. Let's go ahead and hop right into a match. And we can demonstrate uh, the power of the script. Like I said, some people are already uh, pretty damn fast with building. And um, they don't need to change anything. This just makes it a little bit more efficient. So yeah, let's demonstrate a little bit of the script here. If you want to build stairs, you press one button and you got stairs. Cool, build stairs. You want to go back to wall, you build a wall. Go back stairs, build stairs, build floor, build floor. All that fun stuff. And then you can just, just go back to your normal bidding. Like, because if nothing ever happened, just by hitting the N key. You know, so. Like right here, we could build stair, wall, stairs, stairs, wall, stairs, wall. Back to the N key. Super fast, super efficient. I like it. I like it. What we can get ourselves into. And as I predicted, someone was shooting at us from behind. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Swap these out. We're gonna get these minis. Pick up the sniper rifle. Trying to figure out where that guy's shooting from. Tracking feels really smooth. Not complaining one bit. Do do do. Hello, buddy. That might be them right there. What are you guys doing? Good. We're babysitting. We're babysitting the dogs. Oh my gosh. Come on, buddy. Oh, we got a cute little bush over here. Hey, baby. Hold on. Hi. Hello. Secret llama right there. Huh? Oh, cheeky little snipe with the little finish with the scar, huh? However, 
Emperor. We are now going to go get into the fight up here. I have it. Where is the sniper at? Is that him up there on the hill? Find where that guy is with RPG. Found him. Hey, what's up, buddy? How's your head? Yeah, that's gonna hurt, lady. Yep, I knew that was gonna hurt. Where's this guy at? Anybody know? Anybody have any ideas? I definitely need to adjust the uh, hip sensitivity. It's not what I'm used to. W. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.